Hi, my name is Dave Whitesley. I'm Technical Director of Envisage UK Limited, and I'd like to take this opportunity to go through with you um, a an example of design automation that is using Autodesk AutoCAD as a CAD server. Now, these days we're finding that um, uh, the cost of CAD software is increasing, and what we want to do here is look at um, the possibility of using uh, one license of AutoCAD to automatically run um, a series of jobs as um, queued by client users. So what we've got here on the left hand side is a job processor that is on the machine with the AutoCAD. And on the right hand side we've got a little program that I put together um, that is um, compiled to vb.net or something like that um, that the users are, uh, have got on their machines. Um, this is just a simple example of a, um, a lintel as used in the building industry. Um, it could be anything. Uh, your um, imagination really is important here. If you've got designs that you um, need to produce automatically, they're very similar, then this is a good example of using a CAD um, server. So if I click on the uh, lintel here and put some values in, now what this is going to do, uh, this is uh, just allowing me to put some values in here. This will then queue up, once I've had these values, give it a thickness, give it a part number. Okay, um, this, could be from, uh, this could be from the sales office or something like that, where they're getting uh, sales um, orders in and they want to process from the uh, sales department or another purchasing department. Um, it could be accessing Excel spreadsheets, anything really. Um, but the main thing is that the CAD is not on this machine on the right hand side here. So if I click on create drawing, what that will do is that will actually add um, to a queue this, this um, job processor on the left hand side here, which will be on the machine with the AutoCAD, is just polling a queue for jobs. And as soon as these jobs are sent by the users, they um, end up in this queue here. And every 10 seconds in this instance, you can change the polling time. This job processor will then take the top job from the queue and process it. So this, if I start the job processor running, this is just ticking away here on the server. It's gonna poll every 10 seconds to see if a new job has come in. I'll click on create drawing from my client side here. That will then produce um, a job in the queue here, which will arrive within 10 seconds. And then once that job is uh, found, it'll automatically start up AutoCAD. Let me just close this down. It'll automatically start up AutoCAD. I'll minimize that as well. Run the uh, AutoCAD up. Process the job in the job queue. Uh, in this instance, it's using uh, automation inside of AutoCAD. It's printing off the uh, drawing. So in the time I've, I've basically gone through what's happening, it's uh, produced, uh, it's run up AutoCAD. It's uh, produced a drawing automatically. It's um, produced a DXF file of the geometry. It's plotted the drawing and it's automatically closed down AutoCAD waiting for something new to appear in the job queue. If I just go into AutoCAD, just have a quick look at the drawing. It's just a simple drawing I've put together to, but to show you how this, uh, how this works more than anything else. So if we just go into AutoCAD here and have a look at the drawing. Okay, so the last drawing created. So what we've got here is um, the geometry that went out to, that was sent out to DXF for profiling for the manufacturer of the product. Then we've got the drawing itself uh, where we've actually um, produced, in this case it was a 3D model so I could get the weight of it for uh, uh, purchasing requirements. Um, and just a simple um, view of, a, of, a, of the 3D model with some dimensions on and, ta and a table that's been filled out automatically by the job processor running. So the job processor picked it up, ran AutoCAD, started up, started up with a startup drawing, um, produced the 3D model and the 2D profile for DXF profiling, added the values to the drawing sheet, saved it as a drawing, 
and then closed everything down again. There's so much more you could do with this. You can output to a CNC code. You can output data to an MRP system. Uh, the sky's the limit, really, with something like this. But the most important thing is the whole of this system just uses one AutoCAD. It's running on a machine, acting as a CAD server, and it's just polling your network for new jobs coming in from the uh, users. So uh, that's um, just a simple example of um, design automation using the CAD server. If you need to speak to me more on this or you want, you've got some ideas of uh, what you would like to automate, then give me a ring on the telephone number on here or contact me by email. This um, mechanism would also work with uh, Autodesk Inventor and no doubt uh, Autodesk Revit as well. So uh, thank you very much.